Hello everyone and welcome back to Mini Nublar. The second and third Spinosaurus are being flown in. I will show the skins later because they were selected by you folks. Uh, several people commented, Hey Evo, uh, you forgot about a feeder, so <laughs> put in a feeder. I've been playing Sandbox with like the hunger need turned off for so long because infinite feeders weren't the thing that I'm still like needing to adjust to it, even though it was like the previous update and now we're getting close to the next one. All right, so Spino number two is in, and this is Champlain Valley with Pilophylax, as suggested by, the, let's go towards the sunny side, as suggested by Snakehead. And then the third Spino, here she comes. Oh, we have a cool mix. We have a cool mix of colors. Yeah, drop her in. Oh, the sail's a little bit flubbery. That, oh God. Ooh, that is a cool selection. So this is by the Duckbill Dinosaur, one of our channel members. She does not look very happy with her airport, probably because her flight has been delayed forever. Uh, someone also commented that the reason we are getting the Spinosaurus like threat notification is because these two paths were connected. And whenever a dinosaur is standing on path that is connected to like path that our guests can use, you're going to get that notification even though they can't get out. So I fixed it and yeah, got rid of the notification. I will try to find your comments so I can give proper credit for the genius. The music is way too intense for me right now. We need to remedy this before I go completely crazy. I feel like we're several decades too late for that, but we're gonna try every small measure to sort of manage it. Okay, so what I'm what I'm gonna do, I'm hopping all over the place with this park build, but I feel like, you know, we've done the fanning out technique for, for a bit, uh, but I feel like a different approach is in order. We're just going based off of like the awesome ideas that you guys are sending in. And one of those awesome ideas is from Country John, who says, hey Evo, uh, with how you said that the spoopy tree should be saved for a biodome, you could put either a Dominion Gig or Therazine source in the dome and make it a spoopy environment. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a good suggestion. So what I was thinking is um, making a biodome on top of the... Oh god. It's floating. Making a biodome on top of here. Because initially the plan was... I don't know if you guys recall the plan, but I will remind you of the plan. The plan was initially to put the innovation center up here. It's like... I don't know, this this shining beacon at the top of the mountain. Um, but I actually could not delay the gratification here. I could not help myself and I already put it over here, which in my defense, I think per worked out pretty well. Uh, but I don't wanna have two of them. So I wanted to figure out something else for the top of the mountain, which, you know, our mountain is really more just a steep hill, but it is what it is. And I figure, you know, this is almost as tall as the innovation center. Yeah, not quite, but, you know, close enough. So it's going to give some extra height to the mountain without having to go up with the terrain. Let's try to figure out... Okay, we have to be careful here. We do not want... Okay. Uh, I can fix that, though. So what we're going to do up here is I'm going to make, like, a huge biodome. Um, make it, like, a horror environment we're gonna use a lot of the individual placeable trees rest in peace my uh, my fps which is also why the park is closed now which means an extra notification at the top i'm sorry <laughs> uh but yeah I, i'm 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 gonna have to do things to help out with the uh, with the fps a little bit and that's the last that i will complain about that for today i feel like i have no choice but to, like i i always i love i love an aviary with a good cutout, you know, a good cutout really makes the difference. I don't think it's gonna work every single time. I do like that. So I think that's how we're gonna go about it, actually. I want to keep this episode maybe a little bit shorter than usual. Actually, I say that what I actually mean is I want to keep the recording a little bit shorter. Uh, so far for each of the episodes, I recorded for an hour and then I edited it down to somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Uh, but it's actually, it's almost, uh, 11.30, so I feel like I shouldn't go for too long. Uh, the respect isn't mutual, but I do respect my neighbors, and I know that their bedroom is, like, right next to my home office. That being said, though, the reason I am recording this late is because they have been, like, building a shed in their backyard, and, you know, that's fine, stuff's gotta happen, I get that. 
Uh, but it's been a week at this point. And recording this week, thankfully I'm on like a semi-vacation, otherwise it would have been even worse. But yeah, recording this week has been very difficult. And like the past two videos on the channel, so that's the um, the prehistoric planet review and yesterday's uh, like ranking of all of the Jurassic movie openings. Uh, I literally have to record those like paragraph by paragraph and stop because, you know, they, they started up the angle grinder or they were like soft through one of the uh, one of the beams or planks or whatever and they were hammering it was it's just a nightmare I don't need to tell you this I don't know why I'm telling you this I'm wasting a lot of time um, I just feel like I have to explain so the point here is the point that I'm, I'm like trying to make with like a thousand word essay is that this build might be a little less complicated but, you know, we, we just built like an actual literal airport. So I feel like that should be okay. So what I want to do is stuff this one in here. What I actually feel might be kind of cute is reverse it. Getting a little bit different with it. I actually don't know if... Um... Like we need the path to be straight for long enough that... Or not the path, like the tour track needs to be straight for long enough um, that we can get a path across it. Because what I really like is that you cross over the tour track and then you sort of gather over here. So let's see if I manage to make that work. Let's grab... You know, we're going for like a horror theme, so we're going to go for this one. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I guess we could... We don't need... we Like, we don't need this weird curve, right? We can... We can work around that, so if I grab this, and what if we just do it like that, and then it's just there, see? Now, uh, I'm using the jars here for two reasons. One of them being like, we can make these super shop corners, which I think is great. And also because I feel like it's, the, it's gonna be the most immersive because we're basically making like a horror ride, you know? This is the top of the mountain, top of the morning horror ride. All right, let's try the path again. It should work this time. I said that with so much confidence that I think I deserve that. I deserve for it not to work there. Okay. Uh, oh, we have some like very severe artifacting going on. I wasn't gonna complain. You know what? We'll just do it like that. We'll fix it later. So this is gonna be like the dedicated section. Would it need like, mm, would it need a queue? Could you say entrance, exit? That would be kind of cute, isn't it? I feel like, yeah. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I have the best words. So what we're gonna do is make a queue. We're making a weird queue. <laughs> here, we'll do, it, we'll do it like that. That's the queue. And we, we can do something in the middle over here. Like a, so, something decorative to sort of set the mood, you know, for what you're getting yourself into. So then, you know, this, this is where it would connect to the rest of the park. Look at that. Like what's going on? What is going on? Good God, man. That's with the park closed. Can you imagine? Um, so the idea here is grabbing... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, sorry. I like had to think about that for a second. So this is, you know, green because it's the entrance and this is the exit. So that means that you cannot go there. Makes sense. I don't know where there was like such a long pause as if it was something dramatic, like some big reveal. It really wasn't. So what we're going to have in here is Therizinosaurus. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put the Giga in here as well because we're going for like a relatively realistic park and you wouldn't, you wouldn't put those species together. However, having said that, one of the things we could do is use the rock technique that we used uh, in our Uteranus enclosure. Aww. I feel like if we're gonna do that, it has to be bigger. So I'm gonna have to... I think we're gonna need the space over there. So I think what I can do is add another dome here. Not me having spent like the first 10 minutes <laughs> flattening this back down. Uh, and I think we can... Oh God, we can put one here. Hopefully. Gonna get a weird shape, uh, as if it doesn't already, <laughs> but I don't think that's too much of an issue, you know? Unlike what I did mostly in Jurassic World Evolution 1, I don't really build parks with the 
with the vision that they need to look a certain way from like this aerial perspective. It's about the ground perspective and what what suits the needs of that. Okay, here you go. Oh, by the way, folks, we have started Jurassic June. I'm really excited about, you know, what Frontier might be announcing pretty soon. I'm assuming next week there's gonna have to be an announcement. At, like, y yesterday, um, I was pretty convinced, like, yesterday for me was Wednesday, because it's Thursday today, but it's Friday for you guys. It's very confusing. It's like the MCU timeline right now. <laughs> it's all just running alongside each other. <laughs> but on Wednesday, <laughs> I was almost convinced that Thursday would be the day that they would announce something because it's it was <laughs> there I go again mixing up the timelines it was the first day of June the first day of Jurassic June so it like it just made a lot of sense to me they didn't go that route but you know you win some you lose some uh, lately, though, I've only been losing some. Like, I've gotten really bad at predicting stuff. Probably, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to, like, change some things around. But for now, let's just, like, create a bit of a loop. Gosh dang it. This is not easy. Oh, for frick's sake. Oh, frick. Sorry, this is so... I, like, the self-restraint I showed there by going with Frick instead of what is the, like, obviously the thing that came to mind. I deserve some sort of reward, some sort of meta. I feel like you should like. I feel like you should like the video. I think, I think that's, I think I've earned that. <laughs> not, not to, not to boast, <laughs> but I feel like I've earned it, okay? <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna do something, this like big brain. I was like, so, so, I was struggling so much <laughs> with, uh, where am I going over here? With trying to figure out how to make the tour track visible so I could line it with rocks for like my, uh, my Uteranus enclosure. And then someone pointed out that if you make it nighttime, it lights up and uh, yes, yes it does. Uh, if you're using mods, like the obvious thing here is just to Ooh, which rock do I want to use? I feel like I'm going to use the brown one because it stands out less. Uh, but yeah, someone commented like, you know, if you just make it night, <laughs> you can see the tour track. So that was an excellent, excellent suggestion. Because I was going in with like snow and trying to draw on top of the uh, the tour track, but I kept I kept losing it. What I was actually saying before I uh, I lost my train of thought again is that if you're using mods, you would just use invisible fencing for this. What we are going to pretend as people who play the game unmodded is actually that this line of rock has invisible fencing underneath it to, to make it safe. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have the Giga on the other side of these rocks so that our people can't actually go through the Giga enclosure. Well, you know, what we're pretending is that, yeah, sure, the, the gyrospheres, they, pro they provide adequate protection against uh, the manicure of the Freddy Krueger dinosaur. But we're not going to risk it with the jaws of a Giga. We're just, we're just not going to take that risk, you know? So there's that. <laughs> Hello? Oh, we need to curve it. This is a very tedious process, and I should just shut up so I can... Uh, Time lapse this. Bye! <laughs> I'm through the magic of editing, you're back, and I hit the DPI button on my mouse. <laughs> I always do that. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some extra rocks over here just to ensure that nothing is gonna slip through here. It's, it's a little bit messy with like the uh, the aviary hitbox of the wall, but it's okay. We've at this point we've we've tried and tested this technique. We know that it works. We know that nothing is actually gonna mingle. And now I also want to break it up a little bit, so I'm gonna add a couple of the bigger ones here, like that, obstructing the view at choice points. You also want to add to the illusion. You know, people need to be scared. They need to fear for their lives. So I'm actually also going to add some on this side of the track. Okay, that's enough for the rock for now. <laughs> for now, she says ominously. Um, 
we're gonna set it back to we'll set it today for now it's not the exact lighting set setting that i had for this part because yeah this looks weird i'm gonna have to fix that but not not now yeah Ooh, weird oh my god oh it's triggering me uh let's attach one of these and we'll just get it populated first because I want, I want to be getting rid of these. We're not going to need them. We're not going to need them. All right, so I'm going to have to take this all the way over. Oh my god, all the way over there. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there you go. All right, we did something. So, uh, theory is going to go on this side. I, I'm going to go with the, um, like the actual dominion. Hold on, how did we... Oh, right, like this... And then we go all the way over here. What I was saying is we're going to go with the Dominion Theory because I feel like that's the the spookiest color scheme. No, oh, I didn't need to do that. Uh, doesn't matter. We can just cancel it. We need to hatch them over here. Duh. There they are. All right. Now we're going to do the Giga and... I guess we should just go with the Dominion Giga skin as well. Oh, <laughs> that does pay me a little bit because the Giga has such great skins. It has such... Why do I... There you go. I always struggle because I'm like looking for... I'm looking for this picture, but this is the picture in the... Uh, in like in like the overview. <laughs> yes, you are correct. I, I don't know the alphabet. Good observation. Okay, don't actually click it. That's not necessary. I also didn't need to modify it. I'm rambling. That's okay. All right, here you go. And now we're going to make those. I think I'm just going to do one giga. But I think I want more fairies. That means, dang it. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to fly all the way back. No. Uh, let's select it again. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Oh my god, it's a quarter to midnight <laughs> and I've done nothing. I've placed rocks. That is my contribution. Great. Um, in terms of terrain work, what should we do? I want to hide like the concrete wall in some choice places. So maybe like over here. This is something I really like doing for this aviary. You'll, you'll see the effect of it when we like pull back I might as well do it all the way around here see it, it like normally you have like this tall concrete wall and this just sort of makes it look a lot more natural a lot less of the gray there's really not a lot you can do with like the terrain elevations within the aviary but we do what we can we make it work us unmodded folks we gotta stick together I don't know what I'm saying look I don't even know what I'm saying when I'm, like, at my peak functioning. Let alone when it's, like, literally an hour before I want to go to sleep. That's not true. Let's be honest here, Evo. You go to bed at 3 a.m. Let's be honest. You live hashtag that YouTuber life. Okay, I also kind of want to do... And I just realized we might have to get rid of some of... If not all of the queue, to be honest. Ooh, do I want a log? I want a log. Oh, game, you're you're hurting me. I guess... Okay, let me think about this. Here, we'll do it like that. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I think I want it over there. That basically means getting rid of, like, the entire queue idea. I'm too attached to having it over here. We're gonna get rid of the queue. It is what it is. No queuing. You lucky bastards. You have no idea how lucky you are. <laughs> I feel like I want three theories is that overboard i don't care i love theory uh she's still here okay you know what i just realized huh let me play around with something here let me let me let me put baby in a corner what happens can you do that if we raise the terrain it does work oh, i feel like that's kind of cool the hitboxes in this game are, are atrocious. They're atrocious. They're just making the shape a little weirder. Not so much that it's standing on a rectangle that it cut out for itself. That it like demanded. Like some sort of diva. Like this is, okay, this is what I need. 
Okay, now these also need water. Fancy that, living animals needing water. Eh? So yeah, I think it's kind of cool to have like that right by where the jar sphere comes by. Oh, <laughs> you might roll into, <laughs> into the rock wall. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, now the question is, is there like a foliage, t I guess these? I guess they're they're a little creepy. If I'm gonna if I if I have to rely on individually placeable trees alone, it's gonna be a nightmare. Although honestly, with how little this is spawning, it's gonna be a nightmare either way. But like everything that gets put down with this stuff is gonna save a little it's gonna it's gonna save a little bit. Okay, uh, why did like the one good tree generate right where I don't want it? That's just rude. Okay, okay, we have a good patch here. Yay, you. Congratulations. All right, now we're gonna get rid of that sickening green color underneath. You guys teach me the best things about this game. You guys are awesome. I don't deserve you guys. I appreciate you guys being here though. I really do. Hold on, before I before I continue like randomly adding trees, we should put like a little seam in here. Huh, that's difficult because um, someone, and I don't have the comment right now because it's not applicable to this episode, but in one of the future episodes when we're gonna do an Allosaurus habitat, we're gonna sort of like recreate an abandoned campsite. Obviously is like drawn inspired by Battle of Big Rock. I kind of want to do that here as well, but I feel like that's, that's too much of the same thing. So maybe more like an abandoned worker village-esque. So if we do like this thing with this thing. Now obviously I can't like put any buildings in here. Woe is me. I also think it might be cool to have this somewhere. I wish we could place these in water because that would be like an extra layer of, yeah, that's a bad idea. Okay, let's do it over there. Little toxic dump site. I guess I'll just use this if I, if I can, if the game will let me. I swear this game hates me sometimes. More often than not, honestly, clearly. Like, what is this? What, what? Why do you hurt me? There, water tower. What's the here? Like this looks very dingy. There. So you know, there's at least something going on here. I don't want to use too much of the other pieces, cause um, it uses too much of these wall things, which I don't think fits. And this is all way too pristine anyway. You know, we're look. We we want something that's been like abandoned for a long time but not have that mediterranean look to it okay so obviously it needs to be like overgrown i have lego on the brain so i'm just gonna talk about the lego sets that i ordered <laughs> at least the uh the jurassic park ones so um there are four or five uh new lego sets themed around like jurassic park and I only got two of them because I felt like the other ones were pretty overpriced for what they were. So the ones I'm getting are with the uh, Triceratops and has like a buildable pile of shit, <laughs> which I thought was just hilarious. Uh, and of course it has Triceratops and it has one of the four explorers. It has uh, Ellie and Malcolm. Um, and the other set that I got is with... Um, Sorry, I'm, I, why can't I do thing, two things at the same time? Uh, anyway, the other set I got is with Dennis Nedry and you get like, you know, Lego Dilophosaurus. <laughs> but like the Dennis Nedry figure is the one, is like the thing that I really wanted because he has like an alternate face with like the black venom splotch on his face, which I thought was absolutely amazing. And you also get like his Jeep and you get a mini Barbasol can. Like how amazing is that? So yeah, I'm very excited about that. I, d I don't know if I'm going to make a video about it. Maybe a short, you know, make, make the purchase tax deductible. That sounds like a thing I should be doing. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe let me know. Do you guys want to see something like that? 
I know it's not like my usual stuff, but then at the end of the day, it's it's about Jurassic Park, right? And Jurassic Park is my jam. It's all of our jams. We share this jam. I don't know why I'm still talking about jam. Getting a little bit addicted to tree placement now. Oh my god, this is so many. Look, I will say, I would not normally recommend that you do this, right? Because this is so many individually placeable pieces. Especially because we're going for like a horror vibe, right? So we need a lot of foliage. Like if you're gonna do a savanna environment. Yeah, sure, place three individually placeable trees exactly where you want them. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend doing this <laughs> especially since my pc is already struggling that's not entirely true my pc struggles when it runs the game in combination with obs don't ask me why i don't know uh but yeah it's starting to become problematic so i would not recommend that you do this normally is what i'm trying to say you know when you're building an exhibit use like the individually placeable trees more as accents Instead of like the main foliage type, because you're gonna be burning through pieces so fast, so easily without really noticing. And you're gonna see that reflected in the performance of your game. You know, not necessarily as exaggerated and noticeable as what I feel like I'm dealing with right now, but at some point, everyone's gonna run into the issue where your game is going to perform less and less because your parks are more and more complicated. So just be mindful of that and, and like, use your pieces wisely. Me? Well, I've never been accused of being wise, so I do what I do. Yeah, so what I'm running into right now is that really I would want way more foliage than this for the creepy vibe. Um, but I am hesitant to add more, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm afraid of what the repercussions are going to be down the line. I do think I could add more of the dead trees. I feel like that's really integral. Perhaps nowhere more so than around my toxic dump site. <laughs> yeah, if we were just like on the Biosyn map or on any of the other uh, maps with like the appropriate tree type, like the tiger or the alpine tree type, I would definitely add way more foliage than what I'm doing now and really add to that claustrophobic feel that you get like among the trees, but I don't think we can make that happen. Ooh, do I want to cheekily... They really don't match, but they are the best. Maybe, maybe just in this corner, can I get away with that? They are the best tree overall. After all, excuse- oh, that, yeah, that's- okay, hashtag worth it. Maybe if I put, like, one thing in front of this? Oh, that worked out really well. Okay, so maybe- <laughs> maybe I'm gonna do that again. Maybe I'm gonna do that over here as well. I like how that worked out. That was a good call. Yeah, that feels much more claustrophobic. Yeah, okay, so that was definitely necessary. Alrighty, let's get our dinosaurs in. It is past midnight now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to leave this guest section for some other time. I really have to stop recording now before I'm gonna upset some people. And I'm gonna be paying for that in some way. Yeah, okay, so like the obvious downside is we have no dinosaur sounds in this aviary, but it is a price I'm willing to pay. And that's something, you know, because I'm a park builder, I'm, I don't actually spend much time in my parks when I'm not building, you know? It's, aside from the tour, I don't spend any time in my parks. And that's why I don't mind too much that we don't have sound here. Yeah, it's disappointing, but I can get over that in... Like, for the benefit of the look. Obviously, a biodome needs a glass roof instead of the other type of aviary. It's just standing there menacingly. And as they come creeping out... Ooh, there they are. Alrighty, so that's gonna be the episode for today. And we still have our work cut out for here for us. We have, gee, I can't talk anymore. I feel that's a clear sign. I need to stop recording, it's late. <laughs> but we still have our work cut out for us. We still have plenty of the island left to go. <laughs> oh, that was 12 frames per second right there. <laughs> Pray for me. Uh, like this section right here with the pteranodon. Uh, this guest section, I think over here, what we're gonna do here is like a really long tour. I think, you know, because we have like this elongated section now. And then have a hop off point here, 
So guests can reach this section as well. I think that's a good way to go. Uh, this one, some people have already left suggestions for. And then of course, yeah, we have, oh my God, we have so much space left really. Wow. So yeah, I hope that you're down for watching the continuation of this park build. If you are and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out so, so much. I'd love for you to, yeah, for you to join the Evolution Square. And I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, good night.